Okay, what I have in front of you is guided practice for finding absolute value and the opposite. So we have one, two, three, four problems that I need you to work. And of course, as always, please pause the video. Um, come up with your assessment um, or your position, whatever your answer, however you may deem and then check back by taking a video of a pause so we have find the absolute value of a negative 16 and find the opposite of a negative 16 you're doing two things find the absolute value of 140 and then find the opposite of 140 find the absolute value of a negative one and the opposite of a negative one and last find the opposite of zero and the absolute value of zero so go ahead and pause the video and I will see you when you finish okay so when we talk about absolute value again Finding the absolute value is the first thing they're asking us to do. So how would we do this? Put a negative 16 inside of the two parallels. And of course, we know that the absolute value is the distance from zero. So again, we have zero, not 16 actually. So now it is also asking us to find the opposite of a negative 16 so the opposite is on the left side of zero so we want to find what goes on the right side of zero that is still 16 units from zero and of course that is a positive 16 so the numbers in this case the answers in this case are the same but they won't always be the same but because they are the same let's not even be concerned with that we just actually found what the problem asked us to do the second one says, what is the absolute value of 140? Okay, we said the absolute value is the distance from zero. So 140 is 140 units from zero. Okay, now it also asks us to find the opposite of 140. So this is a positive 140 on the right side of zero. We're looking for what's on the left side. So of course, we know that the, that the distance will be the same, the signs will be different. So the opposite of 140 is a negative 140. Okay? Let's take a look at the third one. What is the absolute value of a negative 1? So we will write this a negative 1. And of course, the absolute value is bringing it out. And there we go absolute value of a negative one is one now the second thing it asks us to do is find the opposite so the opposite of a negative one what is on the right hand side that is exactly one unit from it with a different sign and that will be one and the last one says what is the absolute value of zero well we told you that the absolute value of zero is zero and the opposite of zero is also zero okay so hopefully you're able to make a hundred on this little exercise if not just go back through the preceding uh, videos and come back